Hello, I'm Dave Lane from Professional Rescue. I'm an engineer, and now a school principal and powerboat instructor, and have designed an outboard engine maintenance course for petrol 25 and, like this one here, 30 horsepower two stroke tiller steer outboard engines used by many water rescue and lifeguard units. Why attend our course? Being able to service and maintain your rescue unit's boat engines gives reassurance in use and can reduce maintenance costs. During the course you'll be shown how to and participate in changing the oils and filters, replace the water pumps and the impellers, and you'll get to understand the two-stroke engines here a little bit more together with their fuel systems. We'll be sharing useful tips with you like using a magnetic tray so that you'll keep all your parts without you losing them and we will have little useful pumps like here to change the gear oil. These tips will help you. Now the RYA doesn't offer an outboard petrol engine maintenance and servicing course. As an RYA recognized training center and outboard engine dealer we have designed a course syllabus along the makers approved maintenance regimes aimed at these two stroke engines such as the Tohatsu, like the Mariner here, and the Mercury. Those are in popular use. Standard maintenance packs will be used during the course to support how the maintenance should be carried out correctly and we have them available on our website. This half day course runs in the morning or an afternoon and includes hands-on servicing of a two-stroke engine together with technical information. What we'll cover are what tools and parts that you need to complete a full annual service. The outboard engine systems itself in general, general servicing, what's needed to be done and how, such as what type of plugs that you want, how to gap them, how to take them in and out and safely. What routine checks that you need to do in cleaning and greasing in particular where you've got moving parts and you can see there's lots of areas that you need to grease and including in particular the trunnion greasing points for being able to steer and to tilt the engine. What routine checks you need. The ignition system as we've said. Propeller changing. How to do that safely and how to grease it. Changing the gearbox oil. And as I said, we'll use that little tool there to make it a simple task and make it easy. What you need to do for the water pump inspection below, how to change that, and lastly we'll talk about fresh water flushing of the engine after you've used it. Because that's a really important point about keeping the engine healthy and in long-term use. Lastly, not to forget that when you've completed the service, you need to fill in the maintenance log at the end at the back of your handbook together with keeping uh, uh, all the orders and invoices to record what's happened and to be able to audit the engine if anything goes wrong uh, later on. That will complete what we'll cover in the course. Thanks for watching and please like us below. Thank you.